So if you're watching this video, it probably means that you know what a vortex cone is, you know roughly how they work, you know that uh, they're effective in separating the finer particles from the heavier particles of sawdust and chips, and you want one, and you maybe don't want to pay for one from the factory, or maybe they don't make one as an aftermarket part for your dust collector. That was the case in my situation. I know that Jet does make one, but I wanted to make one of my own, a custom one, and then show everybody else how I did that. So I didn't personally make this. I had an HVAC professional friend of mine uh, make this up. I had to give him measurements, uh, measurements for the bracket and sort of height, diameter, overall specs. So here's the layout, right? It's basically just a cone. And it's stretched into this cone shape and uh, it's welded in a few spots. You know, it's not real pretty, but he didn't spend a whole lot of time on making it aesthetically pleasing. He just wanted to make it a cone. And uh, then he put a nice bracket here. So the top here's flat um, and it tapers out kind of wide. So I sent him the dimensions, told him what I wanted. It's about five inches tall. It's about 16 inches across. The strap, you know, that's pretty obvious. You just measure from here to here and give yourself a couple inches on each side for some screws. And um, the, the dimensions I got from this were really from a jet dust collector that already had the vortex. I went and measured it and basically made up my own. It's pretty thick gauge uh, metal because I didn't want it to be flipping around, flopping around, bending because there's a whole lot of air uh, being blown through here and I didn't want it to be flip, uh, uh, you know, just sort of flapping in the wind. So I'm going to go ahead and show you roughly how this thing fits in there. And then I think I'm going to maybe put a layer of, of primer and paint on it just to make it a little prettier even though I really don't need it. So it just goes in here like this. I'm going to have to bend the uh, angle here of the bracket just a little bit more. And it sits right in there like that. And then as it runs, obviously the air goes through and, and it creates a tornado effect. The heavier particles go down, the lighter ones come up and uh, go through the filter. Uh, the purpose of this obviously is so the heavier particles don't come up and clog the filter. So that's it in a nutshell. I'm gonna go ahead and put a layer of primer on it. Uh, maybe even uh, a layer of sort of this color paint I already had sitting around from a different project and um, go from there. Okay, so I've already got a layer of gray primer on the Vortex Cone. I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish it off with a couple coats of this paint with primer in it. It's satin heirloom white. Um, I didn't buy it specifically for this purpose. I had it laying around from a project. And, uh, you know, hopefully there's enough in this leftover can that I don't have to use the new can. So we'll see, but um, I may run out halfway through and switch cans. Right off the bat, I can tell this is going to look really nice against the uh, Jet Dust Collector color. Sort of a creamy white. I thought this was going to be a little more white. Probably don't need to paint it, but uh... I already had it laying around. I thought it'd be kind of cool. Nice little touch to make it look a little bit more factory. Uh, make it look a little cleaner. So I'm going to go ahead and let that, that layer dry. And then I'll come back and add one more layer and then I'll be done. Okay, so we've got our custom made vortex cone. I'll paint it up. I only painted the top side because who cares about the bottom. But uh, it matches the... Uh, jet dust collector actually pretty well. So I'm pleased with that. It was just some paint I had laid around. Next thing, uh, next order of business is to take the 
mounting uh, bracket and uh, drill some holes in it um, so that we can attach it to our jet dust collector. So that's next. I've got this hardware here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and drill a couple holes and then we'll take it to the dust collector and uh, get this thing installed. Okay, we're ready to drill our holes for our uh, screws. And um, I rigged up this little jig here to try to get it at just the right angle. I was going to drill this way uh, to start, but I figured it'd be easier to drill down. Um, I don't really have a good way to clamp this down, so this isn't really advisable. Uh, not the best way to hold something down, but it's the only way I have, so that's where we're going. I don't really care about placement, doesn't have to be exact, just uh, got to be a hole. Okay, there we are, two holes, drilled right up. Uh, at first I was going to do two on each side, um, like the manufacturer did, but that's eh, probably unnecessary. We're going to try this, and if it needs more, we'll put more in. Uh, if there's really no you know, twist or torque in it, then we're probably all right. To the dust collector. Okay, here we are at the dust collector, as promised. Now what we need to do is drill two holes into the dust collector, right about in the middle. And we're going to go there. Next one's right about there. Naturally, I used the exact same drill bit that I used for um, the bracket, which is, of course, one quarter inch. So now let's get this thing strapped up. Okay, we've got our bracket mounted. We've got our cone. Let's get this show on the road, shall we? Okay, so we've got our homemade, a little bit bloody, uh, homemade vortex cone installed on our um, 1100CFM jet dust collector uh, that didn't come standard with one. This is how to retrofit it. Um, if I were going to do it all over again, I'd make sure this bracket was a thicker gauge material. I think it's maybe 18. I'd opt for something quite a bit thicker because, uh, as you can tell, there's quite a bit of play here. I don't know that it'll make a huge difference in terms of efficiency or effectiveness, um, but uh, I'm going to try it for a little while, see what results we get. If it seems like it's not doing its job, or this is all bent out of shape after I use it for a, you know, a week or so, then maybe I'll upgrade. If it seems like it's working, eh, you know, I can deal with a little bit of that.